அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் மை செல் மசஸ் எஸ் சந்திரலேகா அஸ்டன் ப்ராஃபஸர் ஃப்ரம் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் மெக்கட்ரானிக்ஸ் இன்ஜினியரிங் கோயிங் டு ஹேண்டில் அ மாடியூல் ஆன் ஆக்சிடென்ட் ப்ரிவென்ஷன் ஃப்ரம் த கோர்ஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் சேஃப்டி இன்ஜினியரிங் லெட் சி த கண்டென்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தீஸ் மாடியூல் த கண்டென்ட்ஸ் ஆர் டெஃபினிஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் த டேர்ம்ஸ் ஆக்சிடென்ட் இன்ஜுரி நியமஸ் அண்ட் த தியரிஸ் ஃபார் தி ஆக்சிடென்ட் காசேஷன் வாட் ஆர் த ப்ரின்சிபல்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆக்சிடென்ட் ப்ரிவென்ஷன் and the causes of the accident unsafe act and unsafe condition and cost of accidents then accident reporting and investigation and the types of accident reportable and non reportable accidents we'll go to the definition first what do you mean by accident accident is nothing but an event which is unwanted unexpected unplanned and that has a tendency to cause harm to the people property and the environment generally accident is referred as a luck factor because the consequence it may or may not it may happen or may not happen that severity of that particular accident is defined by the luck factor that is why in the terminology in the definition it has been used as it may or may not cause the damage injury to the people property and the environment say for example a hammer a hammer which is used in that construction thing uh, a person is just using the hammer in the third floor and construction work if he accidentally drop that hammer from the third floor and that hammer that can or that may fatally knock down a worker who is working at the ground floor or else that particular hammer it can simply fall down to the ground without hitting anybody so the consequence that is decided by the luck factor if the accident is occurred or else it has been happened without any injury means that is called as nearness the consequence of the accident will be injury mainly injury and sometimes it may be illness so injury that is due to the occupation or is the work they have undergone and sometimes the illness next we'll see the accident pyramid so here the researchers have just uh, wondering why even after stringent norms so many accidents are occurring so what is the reason they wanted to test with a study so they just made a rope lying on the ground so they have just done this for 330 cases so what happens when 330 people passes over that lying rope in the ground so that rope was left lying on the ground in a normal pathway so out of that 300 people wouldn't have any injury due to that particular rope lying on the ground and 29 experienced minor injuries and one person experienced major or else a lost time injury so it is that for every 300 near misses for every 300 no injury accidents there is a chance of one fatal or one major lost time injury so they have come up with a solution based on this accident pyramid research and this is accident causation that is proposed by hw einrich and this is generally called as domino theory so when we remove any one component the entire thing will follow so here we have social environment and ancestry fault of the person unsafe fact accident and finally the injury if you remove any one component in this timeline either the fault of a person or else an unsafe fact or else the social environment which is caused which is the major cause for the occurrence of the accident if you if we remove any of these components accident will not happen thereby there will not be any injury so this is the first scientific approach towards accident prevention proposed by hw einrich in the year 1980 32 as we have discussed in the earlier thing while defining the accident accident is a luck factor and we have three e's in order to attend or in order to prevent these accident one is ngg 
able to guess it is engineering and another one is duca it is education and another one is nfor it is enforcement so either through engineering design or engineering measure you can prevent the accident and you can give education you can educate the workers and also train the workers in order to prevent the accident and sometimes enforcement may help us in order to follow the norms rules and regulations or whatever policies that particular institution or organization is adhering with and let us see the principles of accident prevention so how we can prevent the accident occurrence so creation and maintenance of a safe working environment and promotion of safe behavior a safety culture has to be inculcated inside the organization to safeguard the workers and make that environment an accident free environment actually this accident prevention uh, uh, technique it is originally a reactive process but whereas when we go for a prevention we can just take from case studies or else we can assume we can do a pre hazard analysis or a preliminary analysis so that we can infer from that what will be the aftermath or what will be the consequence of that particular uh, uh, occurrence or process and we can give safety measures or control measures for that so that is called as proactive approach but whereas reactive approaches after an occurrence of the accident so we if we are just uh, doing an control measure for that area or else for that machinery or else for that process then that comes in with the reactive process the measure that has been taken after the accident that is called as reactive measure a measure control measure that has been incorporated or else that is put in practice before occurrence of the, any accident in that particular process based on the expert suggestion or else the analysis whatever made that is called as a proactive approach and we'll come to this unsafe act and condition so how accidents are caused what is the major reason so uh, they have taken so many process the researchers have taken so many process and so many uh, things how accidents are happened case studies so finally they have come to a conclusion that accidents are often caused by three things one is unsafe act another one is unsafe condition and the third one is miscellaneous or else they are just leaving that as an act of god unsafe act it contributes to 80 percentage of accidents unsafe condition contributes to 18 percentage of accidents and that remaining two percentage that is left to miscellaneous or act of god so we'll see what is an unsafe act unsafe act is nothing but a violation of commonly accepted safety procedure or practice which results in the accident so operating without authority or without the knowledge of the authority or without getting any permission work permit then working at unsafe speed then making safety device inoperative so when we remove the guard and when we work then that comes under that we are making this safety device inoperative then we'll go for the unsafe condition what is an unsafe condition the condition of the selected agency which could and should have been guarded or corrected so the environmental condition or else the ambience the work atmosphere wherever the worker or else the uh, operator or else the employee of the organization is working the unsafe condition or slippery floor improper guarding defective agency improper ventilation so we can tell examples like this based on the uh, scenario that is present in the industries next we'll see for cause of accident so after not the accident so when we just see the cost of accident what has it has been contributed to the production or else what it contributed to the accident so people have just uh, uh, classified the cost of accident into two types one is direct cost and another one is indirect cost direct cost is nothing but the insured cost uh, indirect cost is nothing but the uninsured cost so direct cost it normally generally gives the definite outlays of money and uh, normally this uh, compensation and the medical expenses incurred that will be covered under the direct cost whereas indirect cost it it doesn't represent any definite outlays of money and this reflects in the increase in cost of doing the business so this automatically uh, affects the turnover of the company as well as the expenses that is met by the uh, company 
we'll just see what are the indirect or the un uninsured costs that is uh, troubling the company in terms of economics so number one is cost of wages paid for the work time lost by the worker who were not injured assume there is an accident if after the uh, after the occurrence of the accident or else the moment uh, next to the accident all the workers will be they will be panic enough and they will not have that uh, employee morale to go with the normal routine so automatically the wages paid for that work time loss that comes under the indirect costs next is the net cost to repair replace or straighten up material or equipment that was damaged in an accident so if an equipment or a tool or something that is relevant to that process if it is damaged so we have to do that repair work or else a replacement work and we have to do some renovation in that so that cost that is accounted under the indirect cost next is cost of wages paid for the work time loss by injured workers other than the workers compensation payment so normally we have that workman compensation apart from that the extra expenses whatever we pay for the injured worker also it accounts in the indirect cost then extra cost due to the overtime work necessitated by the accident so in order to accomplish the task in order to achieve that uh, lot count normally overtime will be given so that the extra cost is paid for the workers that is also uh, banned by that uh, organization then cost of wages paid supervisors while the time is required for activities necessitated by the injury so this is also accountability under the indirect cost then cost wage cost due to decreased output of injured worker after return to work so after returning to the work the worker will not have the same morale automatically the performance of the worker will be diminished so the cost the wages cost that is paid for the worker that is also comes under this indirect cost and next one is the cost of learning period of a new worker if suppose uh, if you are going to replace a new worker in the place of an injured worker or else a worker who has died so that cost of learning period also that is accountability in the indirect cost then uninsured medical cost borne by the company and the cost of time spent by io supervision and clerical workers on investigation or in the process of compensation application from all these come under this indirect cost apart from the definite outlays of money whichever cost that is coming that will be accountable into the indirect cost as miscellaneous unusual cost so this is about the accident costing and coming to the accident investigation and reporting normally uh, this will be with the wh questionnaires and we'll have a personal interview and uh, interview will be conducted by the dish officials directorate from the directorate of industrial safety and health they will be uh, calling the witnesses uh, witness 1 2 3 or else the supervisor or else whoever is, whoever is in charge for that uh, for uh, taking the investigation and getting no things what has actually happened and they will be just drafting a report the same a report or else the same sort of investigation will be carried out in house also and the safety officer in charge or else the hsc in charge will be having that file types of accident so there are two types of accident one is reportable accident and another one is non reportable accident normally fatal and major injury that comes under the reportable accident this is classified as per the tamil nadu factory rules 1950 under form number 18 a non reportable accident the major injury where the worker resumes to the job within 24 hours and some minor injury per se case all these things that comes under the non reportable accident so there is a separate register maintained for uh, uh, noting this reportable and non reportable accidents even for near miss we have a near miss injury report okay so this is a activity we have a picture here where you can just find out what is the unsafe act and unsafe condition that has been uh, uh, followed in the industry or else that is uh, just uh, seen in the scenario okay thank you all just take this activity we'll see in the next module thank you